Hello everyone, I am Rai Chandra V, pursuing HM in Computer Science Department, Institute of Engineering of College of Engineering. So I am here to represent my technical seminar on traffic management system using Internet of Things. So moving to the moving, coming to the table of contents. Table of contents consists of abstract, introduction, methodology, results, conclusions, and references. So coming to the abstract part. Traffic congestion is the most common problem in the majority of countries around the world due to increased population and urbanization. Traffic blockage is mainly due to increased number of vehicles, poor infrastructure and failure of existing systems. There are several techniques to identify the congestion of traffic such as image processing, laser tracking and inductive loop. But there are significant problems with available methods and hence the proposed model makes use of the infrared sensors which plays a constructive role to handle the traffic. Infrared sensors are used to count the density of automobiles using which the signals are controlled by ESP8266 based node MCU and the data is sent to the central cloud system. This system can be interfaced with existing models and takes less time to install. So the proposed system allocates a smart period for green lights on roads. To overcome the existing traffic problem, we proposed a solution of profile signal control system called autonomous and real-time signal control based on estimate, estimation traffic demand for minimization of signal waiting time signal waiting time RTMIS is a new signal based control system which makes optimized signaling by predicting traffic flow from upstream intersections using the proposed system traffic congestion can be reduced by 35 percent so coming to the introduction of our project so in modern days, one of the biggest problem faced in is obstruction of traffic. It is because of high volume of vehicles, lack of proper infrastructure, improper roads, etc. Because of urbanization and traffic closing, an intelligent and smart traffic system is to be designed to save traveling time. Due to rapid rise in population, increased number of vehicles and personal mobility by civilian populations around the world, road infrastructure has grown significantly and became more complicated and congested in recent years. Due to the extreme traffic congestion, this has produced during rush hours, it is now clear how important a reliable traffic management system is for preventing accidents, increased em emissions and lost time. A hybrid model is used to optimize traffic flow on roads. A system is created to effectively manage various traffic circumstances. The scientists created a computer model that estimates traffic volume using data from cameras and microphones before altering the traffic signals. The others developed an algorithm based on artificial intelligence to predict future traffic density while a line of traffic was present. The researchers suggested an IoT based design for the system to collect, process and transmit traffic data in real time for this scenario. The system's primary objective was to improve transportation by disseminating traffic information on congestion and unusual traffic events via roadside transmitting messaging devices. The idea behind the design could give people early warnings so they can save time especially during the rush hour. This implemented system plays an effective role to prevent congestion at busy roads and to eliminate the congestion at traffic lights. So when you look at the diagram, it consists of infrared sensors, Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller and traffic signals and all the three are entirely connected and it is connected to the clouds. The signals from the infrared sensors are passed through the micro, uh, microcontroller via Wi-Fi and then it passes through the traffic signals. All the components are entirely connected shown in the figure. So coming to the methodology, how, it, how, the, how, how is the method is used? So coming to the first method, the first method is image processing in light traffic control. So what does it explain? So it, the use of image processing for controlling the traffic management is used here. This system will detect images instead of using electronic sensors. Along with traffic light, there will be camera mounted to capture the vehicles. The image sequence are analyzed by digital image processing for vehicle detection by means of which traffic signals are controlled. So coming to the diagram, it shows the prediction of traffic flow arrivals, calculation of signal control parameter, exhibition of signal control, 
prediction of traffic of flow and information exchange between intersections so prediction of traffic flow arrival it consists of traffic demands and arrival timing and in calculation of signal control parameter it consists of estimated signal control and minimization of delay time so the traffic demands are uh, passed through the estimated signal controls and the arrival time are passed through the minimization of the delay time so all are entirely connected so all the signals will be passed through the execution of signal control and prediction of traffic outflow and information exchanges between the intersections from one junction to one another junction and coming to the second methodology the second methodology is laser tracking laser it tracking is used it is used to track objects by measuring its distance the reflected laser beam is calculated by laser interferometer to calculate distance this method works well in stable working environment but because of atmospheric effects its accuracy gets affected so coming to the third methodology induct the third methodology methodology is inductive loop the loop structure consists of three loops varying from small size loop to large size loop to detect all size of vehicles shown in the figure loop 1 is used to detect smaller vehicles such as bikes cycles bikes etc loop 2 is used to detect larger vehicles like buses trucks or cars the loop 3 is a combination of both loop 1 and loop 2 when small vehicle passes over loop 2 there will be no considerable change in loop inductance but it may lead to missing detection however loop 3 gives the relative change inductance when both vehicles and large small vehicles and large vehicles pass through it so this is how the inductive loop methodology works so coming to the working of a smart traffic management so to implement this proposed system we created a layout of four road junctions with directions as east west north and south considered east and west directions roads as main roads and north and south direction roads as side roads which then generally have less traffic when compared to main roads for measuring traffic density we place ultrasonic sensors in all directions the ultrasonic sensors are connected through an ip network proposed system gives the range of traffic density and timer values of the traffic lights will be updated based on the traffic density the ultrasonic sensors are used for traffic flow prediction the on time of the green light in a particular direction is proportional to the traffic density in that direction which is measured by using ultrasonic sensors ultrasonic sensors are installed in each direction and the density of the vehicles in that particular direction is measured by using these sensors so the on the on time of green light is directly proportional to the traffic density in that direction which is used by measuring ultrasonic sensors so ultrasonic sensors are installed in every directions and the density of the vehicles uh, is measured by using these sensors so when there is more density of vehicles so there will be more more amount there will be much amount uh, delay in green light so if there is less you will wait for more time if there are more vehicles green the on time of the green light will be directly proportional to the traffic density in that direction so coming to the applications where 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 and all this is used so this is used in uh, automatic billing of toll so what is the application in toll using rfid with existing system it can be used for automatic billing of toll the rfid tag is placed on the vehicle whereas rfid radar is present at the toll when they detect the vehicle it automatically detects certain amount with respect to the vehicle instead of waiting in queue so when when we drive a vehicle we will get some tolls so when we reach the toll when the uh, toll will be consisting of cameras so if the person uses the fast tag card it all is the camera senses the scanner i mean fast tag and then uh, the car can move then or else if the owner is not having not using fast tag so he has to pay certain amount of tax in the toll then only then his uh, number board of the car will be read then he will be allowed to pass through so automatic billing of toll it can be used there to avoid traffic 
so yeah, cameras will be used and fast tag will be very helpful to uh, avoid in delay of traffic so any emergency so using uh, it is used there also so coming uh, to the next point speed limit infraction by using RFID with this system if any vehicles violate the speed limit then it automatically gets recorded in the database and an alert can be sent to the nearby traffic police to catch the culprit the fine can be correctly calculated and sent to the violator's address so while when we are driving in the highway there will be some uh, uh, speed limits and there will be a speed limit uh, meter also so if the limit uh, speed limit crosses the if the speed limit of the car crosses the speed limit of the shown uh, meter so uh, if 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 the any system if any vehicle violates the speed limit it automatically gets recorded in the database and it uh, it uh, already it sends to it sends an alert to the traffic uh, police and so using that the traffic police catches the culprit and according to that uh, the culprit will be uh, put some fine calculated and it will be sent to the and the fines will be sent to the violator's address so uh, to avoid this there should be speed limit wherever there is a speed limit infraction so we should drive slow and safely this is also one of the main application so coming to the next application identification and governance of traffic a separate server server can be maintained and the information collected by the microcontroller is sent to the database the main aim is to calculate the round trip of each vehicle and specify the recruiting path during clogging out traffic vehicles can be noted that violated violated signal crossing so identification governance of traffic means a microcontroller will be sent to the database so it calculates the round trip of each vehicle so that he won't uh, cross any traffic or violates any rules or violates any signal crossings recording uh, rec recruiting path during clogging out traffic so everything will be under maintenance so you can easily identify and it will become it comes under the governance of traffic so coming to the result so it has be it, uh, all the, the this ma traffic management system has uh, played a very uh, important role in traffic it manages all the traffic vehicles if there if there, there is no traffic management there will be huge problem in cities so that we cannot all roads will be blocked so we cannot uh, do anything we cannot travel properly so the implemented project is based on congestion detected by infrared sensors output and traffic lights can be controlled ac accordingly so using infrared sensors only traffic signal works traffic signal works on infrared sensors here by using infrared sensors the count of vehicles is measured and the green light will be an according to the density of the vehicles in the particular direction so if there are more vehicles in the particular direction the green light uh, comes early there will be no delay in the green light if there are less vehicles so there will be little bit delay in the green light so that uh, density of the vehicle it will be proportional to the green light will be on so by you by doing that uh, one can avoid traffic uh, late traffic or any jams in cities or any uh, other places where, where we go so all these signals work on uh, infrared sensors on the red orange and green work on infrared sensor the delay between all those three sensors will be three seconds or two seconds so as soon as the green light will be on so the vehicles will pass so that there will be no traffic as soon as the red light comes all vehicles will be stopped and orange light show, shows the vehicles to are ready to race as soon as the green light will be on the vehicles will pass and then uh, it is according to the density of vehicle in that particular direction so coming to the conclusion of my seminar the proposed system makes use of infrared technology as i told it uses infrared technology it overwhelms the limitations of existing methodology methodologies that infrared technology it overcomes the limitations of existing methodology this system is productive in the management of traffic and can withstand some harsh environmental conditions so it is very useful it can uh, it is very useful in management of traffic and it can uh, withstand some harsh, harsh conditions so moreover this paper presents the problems in smart cities areas caused by traffic jams and related issues 
the clogging of traffic is one of the problems for the delay of emergency vehicles so especially metropolitan cities suffer problems of congestion so this paper presents problems in smart cities in smart cities there will be you know, more number of vehicles so in order to prevent traffic jams and related issues so this traffic smart traffic management will be very useful so you know i and uh, the clogging of traffic it is also one of the problems and uh, if there is any uh, for the delay of emergency vehicles so for example a ambulance needs to go everyone needs to space needs to leave space for him so that he reaches the hospital on time so due to um, by using this technology he can uh, go faster and reach safer and uh, any yeah, it can uh, especially metropolitan cities suffer problems of congestion so in order to avoid all this congestion and everything so this smart traffic management is used the implemented system can be improved by adding further specifications such as traffic control application smart bus stops providing information about public transport using an android application and managing parking places in smart cities the implemented system this uh, it can be improved by adding such as traffic android applications so when we have uh, used an traffic android application everything will be uh, stored in the database smart bus stops and providing information about public transport using android applications and managing parking places in smart cities so if everything will be under control there will be no problem or congestion in smart cities so they are providing information about public transport we can we can using the android applications we can come to we can come to know which bus at what time it reaches which stop and public transport we can example like bmdc there will be some stipulated time for them for at every stop so they have to reach there by that time so and we can manage parking places in smart cities using android applications only we can use uh, to we can book uh, we, we can wait for the buses and then go to uh, stop accordingly so the uh, in this way uh, the traffic uh, management uh, smart traffic management takes major plays a major role in our daily so here are the some references almaki nsi fan bajracharya the green iot for eco friendly and sustainable smart cities they are working on future directions and other opportunities and this bajracharya and gang works on cost effective and eco friendly bicycle sharing system for developing countries an international conference of uh, information science and applications and naresh also worked on smart garbage collection for eco friendly environment and goshal works on the paper building intelligent systems for smart cities issues challenges and approach and joach worked on smart traffic signal control for smart cities using reinforcement learning and computer communications so coming to the end i hope everyone will like share and subscribe thank you